Hey, what up guys? In this one, we're headed out to the links at Bodega Harbor. Uh, tough to vlog here because of the wind, so I had to do some stabilization and put a backing track. But that being said, let's head out of the course and see how I did. All right, hole number one starts you off on a pretty tough hole off the tee. Uh, houses on the left and right, but luckily I'm just safely aboard up the right-hand side. Uh, let me know if the backing track is a little too much. Uh, I'd like to know your opinion on that. All right, next up, just a straightforward shot here, but I end up leaving this one out right. And now I left myself with a pretty difficult chip to get onto the green. So I played it safe and played it out right, thinking it would break a little bit left and down the hill, but turns out the result was not that great. And as you can see, I hit this one way too hard. Uh, it is a downhill putt. And now I'm left with a pretty long one for actually my bogey here. So here's a bogey attempt. And yeah, leave that one short. So end up getting double on the first hole. All right, next hole is a shorter par four. So I'm bringing out the two iron driving iron. Uh, tuck this one a little bit to the left, but I'm sitting okay. And that's all I'm asking for. Uh, this next approach shot is probably the best that I hit all day. Uh, I just put the marker there because you can't see the flag, but look how close my putt is for birdie. So this is the birdie attempt. And honestly, this was an awful attempt. Uh, and so I ended up tapping that in for par, but hey, I'm in for par, can't complain. All right, next up is a longish par three in the wind and end up being short here and on the lip of this trap. So look at this practice swing. The shaft is like near uh, my my chest <laughs> and pretty much I am just happy I got contact on the ball and I just rolled that onto the green. So I have a long one here for par. I hit it pretty hard and end up still being pretty short. And so here is my putt for bogey and I missed that. So yeah, starting off here with a tough four over through three. All right, this hole is car path only, unfortunately, or fortunately, I hit it right in the center, which is far from the car path, uh, but took multiple clubs here and ended up hitting a pretty decent shot into the green for my second shot. Um, yeah, as you can hear, the wind is just blowing all day. Look at my shirt blowing in the wind. And I have a, you know, pretty crazy putt here, and I was trying to play too cute, and I thought my ball would just zip to the right, but it doesn't, and it rolls all the way down the hill. So here's the return putt end up being super short here and up three putting for a bogey now here's a small little break with the scoring strategy of this par five coming up okay so let's see it's trying to tell you what to do basically okay so the guys are going to hit from the blue tee so yeah. they're going to aim at the aiming point okay so if you land your ball somewhere around here you're good yeah. you don't want to go to hell's corner, <laughs> hell's corner avoid all right don't go to the cow pasture either <laughs> So basically, to decode that sign, there's a white stake in the middle of the fairway that you should hit about 180 yards. I end up topping my ball, which is the last thing you want to do, and then I end up pulling this iron probably into this cow pasture that was on the sign, and I just took a drop and took an OB penalty. So that being said, my next shot lands left of the green, and now I'm not sitting very pretty just to get on and try to make up for some semblance of a score on this hole, but just did pretty terribly here. Yeah, I end up missing this putt, but end up just tapping in for a triple bogey. So overall, really tough hole, but course knowledge is everything on this one. All right, coming up next is a uh, downhill par three. End up going long on this one and over the bunker. So this next shot, I have to open the club face up and then do some kind of flop. But check out this view. Amazing. So here is the chip attempt. Club face wide open. It does go more right than I anticipated, but I'm on the putting surface and I'm putting for my par. So here's the putt attempt. Look at that flag go. And yeah, just roll that by and tap in for bogey. All right, next up is another par three. This is downhill and into wind as well. Uh, that being said, I hit a really good ball here and I'm on the green in regulation. So putting for birdie here. So here is the birdie putt. Uh, just ignore the fact that I hit my playing partner's ball here. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, I didn't assess strokes or anything, but just here to have fun. And I end up rolling this par putt in. So with an assist from a playing partner, not marking her ball, I actually got a par. All right, coming up is a par five, 
this is a par 70 course um we played the middle tees which isn't that long on the card but with this win it's kind of ridiculous so that being said my second shot finds the fairway and so i have a manageable distance into the green end up playing a trap shot here you know just really short follow through keeping the close face and then ends up turning out really good so i have a really short one for birdie and yeah just could not clean it up the greens were having their way with me today uh, and so i'm nine over at this point all right short par four so you know what that means bringing out the driving iron hit this one to the left hand side uh, fortunately i stayed out of that trap and then i just have a pretty straightforward shot for my second shot uh, this one i kind of fly up high into the air and it ends up being super short and then uh, i take out my sandwich here and try to get on the green close but it ends up just checking up and being really short so i have a pretty long putt just to try to save my par yeah and i just can't roll it in so and i'm picking up a bogey here so i'm 10 over so after nine holes being 10 over not really sure how i feel about the score but not really about the score today it's about playing this course for the first time take out the driving iron once again safely in the middle of the fairway and then hit up my gap wedge here but ends up being a little short and spins back off of the green onto the fringe so here is my putt for the birdie hit that pretty hard and not a terrible result here but luckily just tap that in for par and so i'll take easy pars at this point of the round all right so this isn't necessarily a short hole to take driving iron out but i wanted to play it safe and there was a ton of wind behind so i ended up hitting it pretty far but ends up in this sand trap and unfortunately i just junked the crap out of it and so i still have a gap wedge into the green for my third shot but if you take a look at this shot this is probably the closest i've ever been on an approach from the fairway and look at that just tap that in for another quote unquote easy par loving it all right coming up next is another par three i uh, hit this one short and to the left and so i have to deal with this bunker not the strongest bunker player so all i'm really hoping to do is to get out and make sure i'm putting and not hitting any houses that are beyond the green <laughs> that being said here's my putt for the par really good speed just not the right line and so i have a kind of testy one here for the bogey and yeah unfortunately just not a good read again end up tapping in for double so losing a lot of strokes out there in the short game all right this hole was in to win i uh, had to take out the driver I actually hit it pretty decently into the sky and it only goes less than 200 yards so that's how much wind that we're dealing with here uh, that being said next shot into the green i tried to hit another trap shot uh, and it pretty much goes left like all my trap shots do and so i just need a chip on and just try to get up and down for a par so here is the chip attempt ends up being pretty good uh, it just ends up leaking towards the hole and i'm pretty happy with that and here is the par attempt and yeah just barely missed that so tapping in for another bogey all right next up is a super long par for a ridiculous 432 yards downhill and it was playing into wind so i hit a really good drive only went 208 yards <laughs> so my second shot here i just take my two iron out try to keep it below the wind ends up drawing a lot because my shortened follow through and only advances 150 yards or so uh, here's my third shot with the sand wedge uh, pretty much took a full swing here ends up being really good and so i have you know at least a look at par on this crazy long hole and this one ends up being pretty close here i thought i almost made it this is the hardest hole i think on the back and so i end up just tapping for what is a really good bogey in my opinion all right coming up next is a par five which is only 70 yards longer than the previous hole so i'm thinking hey maybe if i do the same thing I'll get a par so kind of to the same effect just laid it down there with a long iron and try to keep it out of the wind uh, and i'm accomplishing that right here on my second shot and then here's the third shot into the green ended up being super far out and so i had to take my two iron and play the same trap shot as i did on the previous hole so i'm behind the stroke count just want to take my sandwich and get it on there but i end up you know kind of fluffing this one into the sky and so now i have a really long putt just for my par here so i did better on the previous hole than i am doing on this hole uh, that being said yeah didn't really put a lot of effort to that one so i have a long one for my bogey and i end up missing that so I end up getting a double uh, on a much easier hole all right coming up these next two holes you have to take your clubs with you off of the cart you'll see in a little bit what i'm talking about i hit a bunt 
driver, you know, kind of close to the green. So I'm pretty excited about that. But yeah, as you can see in this shot here, uh, Nick and Marina, they're carrying their bags right here. I just took clubs from my bag and I'm just carrying them with me along with my camera. Here's my friend Dave, who is also doing the same. All right, and so for this shot, this is the one I probably regret the most of the round. It will haunt me in my dreams. Try to play smart and bump and run it, and it goes way past the flag. And then here's my putt. I thought the wind was gonna factor in, and I roll it way past. And then here's the returner for par, and I miss it. So I end up tapping for bogey from only being like 20 yards off the green off my drive. All right, that being said, this next hole is a par three. Going back to variable length clubs because I didn't have the proper club, so I borrowed from one of my friends and I'm being super short because there's so much wind. And so here's my chip. I tried to be really cute with it, took a full swing flop, ends up being short, and then probably traumatized by the bumper run. I take out my sandwich, end up being really short again. And then here is the bogey attempt. And yeah, I missed that, end up tapping in for double. So here's the last hole, pretty cool a finishing hole. Just took out my two iron to set myself up nicely for my second shot into the green. Uh, it's a cool downhill shot. You can see the ocean in the background, uh, end up getting onto the green in regulation. So tried really hard to focus here on the putt here. And uh, yeah, pretty much doesn't end up how I'd like it, but I gave myself at least a tap in par. So ended with the par and what an amazing course and experience this was. As you can see, awesome golf course, had a great time. Very difficult golf course. Uh, the wind is no joke there. Um, you know, houses that are lining each side of the fairways on a lot of holes, but man, a lot of memorable shots, views everywhere, and tough windy conditions. But had a great time, you know, thanks to my friends, Nick and Maria for having me out. Uh, and that being said, hope you guys enjoy that one. Keep chasing, and I'll see you in the next one.